All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do a quick pick and place with Sawyer. So uh, a couple things to have in mind before you start. Um, the arm needs to be in a good position. It kinda needs to be up like this. You have the elbow up high right here. You've got the control panel facing you. Uh, you've got the end effector turned down, you know, kind of towards your work surface. You have a good, nice work surface that's stable. Um, a couple of these little tools will help you making sure that you put the part back in the right position every time. Uh, Placing is not as big a deal, but to get an accurate pick, it's really nice to know where that pick is going to be coming from on a basic pick and place. Um, so, all right, let's get started. So basically what I want to do is take the arm in zero gravity. And I want to use my navigator bar here to get to a new task on the head screen. So just going to back out of here, back button, and hit the rethink button here. And I switch hands. And so now I have my screen up. I'm going to use the selector knob to rotate over to tasks. I'm going to select a task and I'm going to select new. Okay, I'm not going to save this task. So, all right, so now we have a brand new task, nothing on it. And I'll try to do this with one hand. So you want to make sure you have an item that fits in the gripper well, okay? So that's important. I think we all know that. So I'm going to use this square here to line up my part because when I, when I do this, I'm going to be moving this arm and it's going to go on a pick just right back to that location every time. It's not gonna, it doesn't know what's there, it doesn't care what's there. If the part is not in the same place on the pick that you've trained it on, then the, the arm's gonna miss because it's just remembering a waypoint, okay? So I apologize, I'll do this one hand, let's see how it goes. But basically take the arm in zero gravity, I'm gonna lower it down over the object, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be close. You should have enough tolerance on each side, you know, in case you don't put the part back in the exact same position. Okay, so once it's there, it's really, really pretty easy. I'm going to click the white grass button one time. It's going to bring up your pick menu. I'm going to select a basic pick, okay? When you do that, the gripper should actuate and close on the object. And then you also have created this pattern that you don't really need to know a whole lot of right this second. We can get into that later. So with the part still in the gripper, use your zero gravity button here and just lift. And then I like to put a move to node right here, kind of in the middle, but you don't have to. So for this time, we're not going to. Just keep that arm going with the part in it, okay? Place it to where you want it to be, pretty close to the ground. Notice the object is still in the gripper. Okay, I'm going to hit this white grass button again. I'm just going to select it, and that's going to bring up my place menu on the head screen. And I'm going to select basic place, and when I do that, the gripper should actuate again, releasing the object. Okay. So from there, the important part is, is to put the part back in the same position, okay? If you don't do that, if you don't do it right, the arm's gonna miss the pick, okay? The last thing I need to do before running this is back out of your task. Just hit that back button all the way to start. And then you wanna select start, select start again, and then you wanna hit edit. And then you wanna scroll down to the global speed ratio here, select that and just toggle up to medium, select, and then back button, back button, and then rethink button, run, and restart. Okay, now when you do that, the arm's gonna move. So the first time you do this, you should be behind the robot with your hand on a button, making sure that um, if anything goes weird, or if the arm takes a wayward motion, 
you're gonna be ready for it. Okay. Notice I'm putting the part back in the same position. Okay. All right, and that's it. So with four clicks of a button and a little bit of know-how, you can do this. And there's not an object there. The smarts embedded in the template will tell the gripper that it doesn't have anything and it's going to throw an error, an error out. All right, hope this helps. Give me a call with any questions. Thanks.